Hello again, Kim here. What I'd like to do in this video is share how I take people through a journey of transformation. And it always is going to start with what I call a root cause analysis or Kiwi Health Detective breakthrough session. Now, if you imagine your car breaks down and you have no idea why it's broken down and you take it to your mechanic and they assess it, they need to assess it in order to ascertain what is causing the problem. Because if they don't know what's caused the problem, and in fact even what the problem is, so there's two things there, there's like what the problem is and what's caused the problem. In other words, is it electronics that have gone wrong? Is the radiator broken? Is the exhaust broken? Whatever it is. Unless they assess the problem, what's caused the problem, they will not be able to identify a solution and they will not know what tools to use as well because different problems are going to require a different tool. So it's the same thing with the human body. We need to understand what's caused the problem and then the solutions will become apparent. So that's what we do in the Kiwi Health Detective root cause session. It's a 90 minute session. It's very, very in depth. We go through your history. We look at your life literally from birth and we work out what is it that is now causing the problems that are turning up in your life right now. And for most people coming to see me, that will be a physical problem, but these go hand in hand with other life problems because chronic unhappiness leads to chronic illness. So we really need to look at what areas of your life are still hidden, but still sending dis-ease, which is turning up and creating disease. And that is what we do in that first session. And by the end of that session, you will have a much clearer idea of, oh, okay, that's why I have symptoms. And you will also know, okay, and that's what I need to do to get better. Now, that doesn't mean you have all the solutions and you can walk away and totally fix your life because it's just not that simple. If we knew what to do, we'd already be doing it. And as Albert Einstein said, no problem can be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it. And this is the problem. We have been creating our problems without realizing how we've been creating our problems or how our problems have been created. And so we're going to be required to do something a little bit different. And if you knew what that different was, I'm pretty sure you'd already be doing it. So the reason you're not doing it is because you simply don't know. And we don't have to feel bad about it. We just haven't been taught this information. And really, one of my favorite sayings is, all healing comes from awareness. Once we have new awareness, we have new choices. So a lot of the work that I'm doing is simply bringing new awareness to situations which are going on in your life or have gone, gone in the, on in the past, but you really didn't recognize the consequences or the ramifications of those situations. So I'll give you an example. I was working with a client recently who has chronic pain and chronic symptoms and just couldn't work out why are those symptoms being created. And one of the things that came to light during our sessions was that actually she wasn't very happy in her job. She thought that it was okay to be getting on with it. It was a contract. It was going to run out in a few months. But she really didn't have any idea of the amount of distress and frustration that her body was generating as a result of how she truly felt about this job. And consequently, she felt very, very trapped and stuck and frustrated. And those emotions were building up a level of dis-ease inside the body, which started to exhibit as symptoms. So once she recognized the reality of how she truly felt about the job, she had choice. 
she could choose to stay or she could choose to go but either way she had choice and she could also recognize that if her body was sending her significant frustration there were other things that she could do to dispel the frustration and also compensate for that frustration while she was still in the job. So our body really does speak our mind and when we have symptoms it's because our emotions and our mind are sending us messages but we're not hearing them. So by the end of the first Kiwi Health Detective Breakthrough Session, I will know very clearly what you need to do to transform the symptoms back into health. And I will share that with you at the end of the session. And that will be different for each person. And if you watch the nine pillars of health mastery video, you will see the different areas of one's life that we need to address. And as I explain in that video, that will be different for each person because we're all completely different people. So after that first session, we then, or you then, move into a tailor-made three, six, or 12-month program. And I will know how much time to recommend for you by the end of that first session but I will not know until the end of that first session because there's so much information that's going to come to light during that first session that needs to come to light before I can make any recommendations. So once that session is complete, I will give my recommendations and then you will choose which program to move into. And we will be covering, we could say, along with the nine levels of health mastery, three core life areas. One area is going to be emotional alchemy. Emotions and stored trapped emotions are one of the biggest causes of the creation of physical symptoms and pain. So we have to learn to become emotionally adept. That means that we need to learn how to manage our emotions, how to notice our emotions, how to communicate our feelings, how to speak our truth, emotional authenticity, emotional mindfulness, and a lot more. And this is a key part of the work that we'll be doing. And you will be taught exercises that you can do in your own time and you have those techniques for the rest of your life. And this is really true self-empowerment. Another area that we'll be looking at is self-care. One of the things that we have to learn is that it is our duty to put ourselves first and make ourselves our own priority. That means we need to look after ourselves through exercise, nutrition, but much more than that. We need to take care of our thoughts. We need to take care of how we're managing our day on a day-to-day -day basis. We need to make sure that we're not pushing ourselves too hard. We need to make sure that we're not seeking approval from others because we don't feel good enough about ourselves. We need to learn self-care and self-love. And we also need to reduce stress. So stress is a huge contributing factor to illness. And so I have my five-step method for eradicating stress. And that includes dealing with stress in our everyday life, but also implementing de-stress techniques. So all of that comes under the banner of self-care. And then we're going to be rebuilding our self-worth, our self-value, our self-respect, and really empowering ourselves from, or yourself, from the inside out so that you truly know that you are a good person who deserves all good things in life, who deserves happiness, success, abundance, a great job, a great career, a great partner, great friends, everything good. Now these good things can only come if we have true self-value and self-worth because at an unconscious level if we don't believe we deserve these good things we simply won't attract them or create them in our life. So it's a lot of work on self-empowerment and, and especially if you've been in situations or relationships where you've been mistreated or even abused, 
then also you will be learning how to manage people who don't treat you fairly and how to put up clear boundaries, how to say no, how to be assertive, how to be self-confident and all that and more. So when we do all of that, then you're going to see symptoms reducing and not only that, you're going to see results turning up in your life where you feel good about yourself, you feel happy, you feel healthy, your life is running smoothly, the dramas reduce, your friendships improve, your relationships improve, you get on better with people, work is going better, everything changes in your life because we've been dealing with things at a fundamental level, in other words at the root cause level. And just like if you want to pull a weed out of a garden, if you just chop the stems off, that weed is going to grow again. But the work that we do goes right in at the root level. It pulls all those weeds out, all the roots out that you don't want anymore, so that only good flowers can grow in the garden. And at the end of the day, this is what I call self-care, a revolution in healthcare, and self-responsibility, a new paradigm in health. Because this is all about you taking your power back, having control over your health, knowing that you have the ability to manage your symptoms, to reduce your symptoms, which is hugely empowering rather than going into the fear of, well, what if things get worse and I don't know what's causing the problem and how much money am I going to have to keep throwing at this and I keep getting told, you know, these worst case scenarios or people don't know to help, how to help me. That's very disempowering and it also creates a lot of fear. I'm all about self-empowerment, teaching you to understand yourself so that you know how to master your mind, your emotions, your physical body, so that you take back control of your health.